Hey everyone, I'm Dan. My girlfriend and I are building an expedition truck to travel Australia and potentially the world. So today I'm going to start installing our slide out room. It's a pop top just like the rest of the truck so I'm going to in install the lower half first. There's not much more to say, let's get started. Okay this is the lower half of our slide out room. This is the front here and this is the back. That's where we'll be able to enter from inside the truck. This is the top part here. This is the roof of our slide out room. As you can see, it's got some pretty, got a pretty funky design. This whole roof is actually on draw slides and it opens up so we'll be able to have open air breakfasts and dinners and things like that. And the rollers that we're using at the back to, to, to allow the slide out room to roll along the floor of these, they're sort of kind of Pretty, pretty small probably and I think what I'm going to do is I've, I've got three of them placed at the back. I'm going to, I've made provisions to install six so I'm going to buy three more of these and, and put them in. Basically it's just a Teflon roller with a small bearing inside and an M8 bolt. So this roller will roll along the inside of the floor as the slide out room goes in and out. So this is the first thing I've got to bolt on. We'll do that and then we'll try to somehow get that up inside there. There's no one here to help me lift it so that's going to be interesting. Okay, that's all the rollers bolted on. I've packed them out 25mm but that'll probably have to be adjusted a little bit just to fine tune it. So now we'll try and lift it up and get it in there. Being aluminium, the slide out room frame isn't actually that heavy so I'm just going to try and drag it over there, kind of get it into position and then lift it up from the front and just kind of put it in. So we'll see how we go. Yes. Okay. Actually, it wasn't that difficult. So now we've got it in there. The next thing I'm going to do is get the mechanism set up and I'll put that in and then we'll attach the mechanism to the room and we'll give it a go. Slide it in and out and see how it works. For those that haven't seen it, this is the mechanism that pushes the slide out room out and pulls it back in. It's just a steel frame with Teflon strips bolted on the top, the bottom and on the edge. And a linear actuator goes in the centre and that's what pushes the room out and pulls it back in. And this, the Teflon slides through stainless steel C-section. So I'll go and get the actuator and I'll put that in and then we'll put the frame in and then we'll try and attach it to that. Here's the actuator. I bought this from Alibaba. If you want more info on all this sort of thing, I've made videos about it, so check out my channel. It's all in there, all the information. So I'll put it in. And then. I can't push it in by myself, so I'm going to run the actuator out a bit, connect it to the actuator and then use that to pull it back in. This is the controller for the slide out room actuator. I just got to hook this up first. This is the controller for the, main, the actuators that lift the main roof. And it's just got like a little piggyback connection at the back there where you can just wire up another controller and you can just link them together like that in series to give them power. So I'll hook this up and then I'll wire the actuator into there and then I'll run it out. I 
I've pulled the mechanism back in and I've just clamped these bits of plate onto the front of it. Eventually these will get bolted on, but I'll just clamp them there for now. I'll go and start up the truck and we'll run it in and out and see how it works. It looks pretty good. You can see there's the mechanism underneath. This holds the weight of it. The cantilever's up inside in that C channel. And there's the slide out room. So I'm, I'm not sure yet, but I may have to get some, some sort of removable prop that I just put, that we put underneath there when we're stopped, just to support it a bit more because it is it does stick out quite a long way, it's 1.3 metres, so I don't know how that's going to go, but let's, we'll have a look at it from inside. So that's it, it adds a fair bit of room. So in, in there we're going to have a dining table, and two couches that fold into a bed. And that is actually the size of a queen size bed.